The fifth International ECS Electrochemical Energy Summit was held in Phoenix, Arizona in October 2015. The keynote speaker was Lynn Orr, United States Undersecretary for Science and Energy. Governments should be working in the, in the parts of the, the research space um, where there's not enough near-term financial advantage to companies to be able to do this. The question of how to get policymakers face to face with our problem solvers was what these two scientists had in mind when they proposed creating the Electrochemical Energy Summit back in 2011. The difference of this event is, is not just giving presentations and have the scientists present their technical data, it's also to outreach to, to the policymakers. Beyond that, we all live on research grants. The research grants come from tax dollars. There is some level of obligation for using those resources to make the life better of the people who live in this country and other countries all around the world. The Electrochemical Energy Summit is an important event because it really draws together electrochemical scientists across the entire energy community. And in fact, the scientific underpinnings of many energy generation devices, fuel cells, photovoltaic cells, batteries, solar fuels generators, all have common electrochemical origins. We can get perspectives from the participants that we wouldn't get otherwise, and I hope we offer the participants the chance to see a little bit that they maybe wouldn't have thought about otherwise. So it's really a great event. This year's meeting focused on renewable energy. Long term, we've got to get off coal and liquid fuels. So now is the chance of really solving the storage problem, solving wind, solving solar, so they will be available when we really need them. This is going to have a big impact, particularly on emerging uh, countries where they don't have this uh, very intense electrical grid uh, uh, um, infrastructure developed. So if you can generate uh, electrical energy at remote sources and store it, uh, you can make uh, very efficient use of that energy. We could, in fact, power our economy by continued use of fossil fuels with no attention to renewables. But we're inviting the possibility of performing an experiment that's never been performed in the history of the Earth uh, with dramatic global consequences. The Electrochemical Society is absolutely critical to get those people together, talking to each other, sharing their findings to really advance that field that is so critical to the long-term well-being of, of the planet. ECS holds the keys to the kingdom in terms of expertise. It's really that simple. Any attempt to sustain the planet is, is constrained by thermodynamics and further reduced by kinetics. And I think electrochemists have a very good understanding of what it is that's possible, the thermodynamics, and the reality that's imposed by the kinetics. And we spend most of our time trying to improve the kinetics to meet up with the thermodynamics. This is what we do best.